I know you sign off. Fox has the Super Bowl. Did you feel mixed emotions here with Tony Romo's contract situation? Didn't really think about it at that point. Okay. Obviously, it's something that I'm well aware of and Tony and I talk about all the time. And I certainly hopeful, prayerful that it'll work out. And I, there's nothing much more I can say than that. I, I wish for him the, the best that he can do, whatever that might be. But he is loved at CBS by a lot of people, no one more so than, than yours truly. And he knows how I feel about it, but I'm not going to apply any pressure. Yeah. And um, hopefully this will be something that we can do together for a long, long time. You know, we're just getting started. We're three years into it. Uh, as far as saying goodbye to the football season, look, I'm grateful we get to do the AFC championship. It's a big deal. And, and you know, we alternate every third year with the big game. We just had it this past February. And oddly enough, next year we're going to actually come up in two years' time because we made the uh, switch, the trade with, with uh, NBC so that we move up a year. This all had to do with the Winter Olympics. Yeah. And NBC having the Olympics and the Super Bowl falling on the same year, NBC didn't want that, so they proposed that we trade out the Los Angeles Super Bowl that we had, that we possessed for Tampa Bay. So we're going to Tampa next year, and NBC the following year will take what would have been our Super Bowl in L.A. I've said this before to this audience, that, that I know Tony gets a lot of credit, and he's unique, and people love that style, and it's fun. But he puts you on an island. Like, your ability to be able to grab what he leaves for you and then get back to the play in time to call it in real time and then allow him to go sort of rogue a little bit with his thoughts, it, it's, it's not lost on me, Jim. And I'm, certainly, I'm certain that there are other play-by-play -play voices who look at that and say, that's a real, real talent to be able to do that and make it feel seamless. And that's what... If Tony would leave, you, you know, there are very few people like you in this business. And to be able to do that, and I think that you complement each other so well, and it just, it, it's a unique sound. And it's rare when we have unique sounds when it comes to play-by-play -play and color. Well, that was really nice what you said, Dan, you know, how much I respect you and uh, your observations, and you understand the business. But I got to tell you, when we're on the air, it's two guys who happen to have a very strong friendship who are just talking. Now, if I'm playing catch up a little bit on some of the play by play calls, I don't really feel it. It doesn't feel off balance to me. You know, I can think about Pat Summerall, who was a tremendous friend and mentor to me early in my career. We overlapped for 10 years together at CBS and we all remember Summerall and Madden, but I also remember Summerall and Brookshire. And I know you do yeah, too. Yeah. And Pat, Pat had a very special gift for making his analysts shine. And they were transitioning at CBS from Brookie to John. This was in the early 80s. And there was a an really incredible bond between Pat and Tom. They did the old, what became the, the, the uh, Inside the NFL show. They did that together. I mean, they were, they were blood brothers. And someone on a writer asked Pat, he said, hey, how do you feel about this? You're going to miss Shire on, on Sunday afternoon? And, and Pat said, you know, in his way that he would, could stretch out a sentence for about 10 minutes, but he said, um, I'm going to miss him on Sunday, but I'm going to miss him more on Saturday night. They had a chemistry, yeah. and they, they were up to some hijinks back in the day. Uh, but, you know, the whole weekend, the process of getting ready for the games is this is what he was saying. You know, it was a joy ride. And I know we had it with John, too. I mean, what a fabulous team that turned out to be. But when I think about my time in three years of doing games with Tony, it's a continuum on Friday into Saturday into Sunday. All those days are the same. At some point, the audience drops in and happens to be listening to us. But. We're having just as much fun at practice on Friday, at dinner on Friday night, same thing on Saturday. We're never in a rush. We're not always talking about football. I would say that might be, you know, 20% of the time. We're laughing and having just a heck of a time for uh, 48 hours plus, and it happens to spill over into the broadcast on Sunday. 
for more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on VR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.